Last week, we were the first to report on the story of Sister Dee Dee Byrne, a retired Army surgeon and a sister of the Little Workers of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary in Washington, D.C. She had just filed a lawsuit against the District of Columbia for denying her a religious exemption from the COVID vaccine mandate there. She returns tonight to update us on her case. Sister Dee, Dee the D.C. government temporarily suspended your license to practice medicine. You filed a suit against them. This week, the D.C. Health Department sent you a letter granting you an exemption. What did it say, and did they acknowledge the lawsuit? No, they didn't acknowledge the lawsuit. Um, I'm not looking at it now because I've got my phone to my ear, but they basically said that because the hospital numbers have de decreased and the numbers of COVID cases have decreased, they have now had a change of heart and have accepted my religious exemption till uh, March of 2023. But they really mm -hmm. didn't mention anything about, you know, oh, we we embrace your religious exemption or, you know, um, the reason why we're granting you an extension is because we are mm -hmm. one where we appreciate your stance on, on um, the aborted fetal tissue issue. We will give you that mm -hmm. um, ability to be able to follow your conscience. So they didn't even mention any of that. They didn't mention the suit. They just mm -hmm. it was almost like they had written a, a letter stating I was good till they accepted my religious exemption and good till 2023 of March. Given this extension, sister, what happens after March of 2023? Would you have to sue them again? I mean, it, it, no, I, it really we, doesn't address your religious claims at all. It doesn't. It does allow me to. They did say they accepted my religious exemption. Okay. And that, that I can practice medicine. Um, and but and in Jan um, next year, I'll have to probably, depending on what's going on in the world, because COVID mm -hmm. is really in our rearview mirror, and maybe it won't be any issue, and maybe we won't have to do this again. But I guess they kept the, their foot in the door to be able to have a little control over us and having to write another religious uh, letter mm -hmm. asking for an exemption. I've already heard of a, a friend, one friend who's already had her religious exemption accepted. So my hope and prayer is that this is just opening the door for many people, especially in the district, to be able to, to practice their religious, their First Amendment rights, and their, to be mm -hmm. able to ra ra practice their religious freedom. I do want to thank the Thomas More lawyers. They were ac excellent. So I just want to give that final thank you, because I didn't do this battle alone. It was the Thomas More lawyers who really worked hard and diligently. Well, Sister Dee Dee, we will see in the days ahead. My suspicion is they wanted to avoid this lawsuit so that the court wouldn't require them to grant religious exemptions to all the physicians who needed them. And this is kind of a neat way to kick the can for another year and, uh, and, and allow you to operate. So thank God for small miracles. Sister Dee Dee, thank you for being here. You can find out more about the work of Sister Dee Dee Byrne at littleworkersofthesacredhearts.org.